So here we have one search bar with suggestions. If I type here anything or click here, then it will start showing us some of the suggestions. And if I click any one of them, then it will get filled inside that input box. And one more thing that I want to show you, if I just clear it and here I type this Laravel and if I hit search, then it will start searching for the Laravel. There is no backend implemented in this. But what have happened in this list, our Laravel is now on top into the recent searches. So I have built this small functionality in vanilla JavaScript. Now let's take a look at the code. So here in our HTML, we have one input box and it has the ID as search box. It will later help us in JavaScript when we want to grab this input box. And after that, here we have one div where we are going to append all the recent searches. Now let's take a look at our JavaScript file. So first what we are doing, we are grabbing all these things. We have search box, then we have suggestions, then we have search button and then search result. And then we have created this one array where I have randomly added a few things. Now on the search box, I'm adding a event listener and what code it executes, which is just checking if we have the recent searches inside that array. If yes, then it will append all the searches inside that div that we have already seen here, this one and this entire code helping in just one functionality that is if this search bar is already open if I click anywhere outside of it just like this then it will get closed and after that this part of code is helping me when I click on any recent search it will automatically close that div and insert the suggestion into the value of this search bar and as soon as we hit this search button what happens it displays this random text here first of all it trims any white spaces from that string and then it shows this little content that is searching for the particular query and after that it just insert a new query into our array as the element so here we have this unshift method and it also drops out the last element from the array if it is going greater than five now let me know inside the comment section what this pop method is doing over here and at the end we are just removing everything from the input box so this was the whole flow behind building this small functionality in javascript if you really enjoyed this video please share it with your friends drop a like and save this video for the future